Hey, hello everyone. Uh, time for a Unity tutorial. So let's take a look at this program here. All right. So we have like a first-person shooter, and you see I have like a sorcerer with a gauntlet, uh, gauntleted hand, and uh, he fires a magical bolt out of his hand whenever you press the uh, mouse button. And the thing about this that I want to show is how to have the um, the uh, instance of the projectile uh, be spawned during a certain point of the animation. Not at the beginning of the animation, but maybe either during the end of the animation or maybe during the middle. So that it looks like it's actually being spawned you know, when he, uh, when he does the attack animation. So let's take a look at the script that is attached to that hand object. And here it is. And it's pretty simple actually to, to do this. Um, I just have a, a little thing here that says, okay, if input get mouse button down, get mouse button up zero which means left mouse button then and if my uh, state of my character is currently set to idle then I'll set the state to attack okay and then um, we just do a check uh, to look for the attack state and then if we do that we go ahead and play the attack animation and we set the wrap mode of that to once because we only want to uh, attack one time per mouse click then here's the part that we're concerned about with this tutorial Okay. If animation, and then we give the name of the animation, uh, dot time is greater than or equal to the animation's length, then we can go ahead and instantiate our, our missile object, and then I'll set the state back to idle so that we can reset everything and we're ready to attack again. Okay, so the thing to uh, realize is um, the animation refers to the array of animations that are attached to your object. So if we select this guy here, we'll see here, um, I did this in Blender and uh, did a couple animations using the action editor in Blender, which I've shown you in pre previous tutorials how to do. And I have a few different animation takes. And as you can see here, I have an element called attack one, idle, attack one, and attack two. Okay, so you have to reference the name of the animation in order for it to, in Unity to know, you know which one you're referencing and, and what the time frame is. Okay, so in the case of this script, when we get to the end of the animation, uh, then we're going to instantiate it. So let me comment this out and uncomment this. This is a little bit more complex, but this will show you that now I have two checks. I'm saying that if the uh, uh, animation time is greater than 0.5 and less than 0.55, then do this. So basically, let's run this. And it runs kind of fast, so it's kind of hard to, to see anyway, but you'll see now that he actually fires the uh, projectile during the middle point of the uh, animation, the attack animation. And of course, if you had a very long attack animation, it would be very apparent that it's actually firing during the middle of that. Okay? So that's pretty much all you have to look at. Now, um, you might say, why did you, why not just say if animation uh, dot time is greater than 0.5, then do this? Well, because once it goes past 0.5, then it's going to keep creating these instances of this thing over and over again until the animation ends or until your check is done. So I'm just giving a little slice of time, 0.5 and greater than 0.5, less than 0.55. So that gives me a slice of time that is enough for Unity to detect and yet it's it's not enough to keep constantly sp uh, spawning these objects. So um, if I were to go in decomment this, I'll say debug.log uh, I'll log the animation time. If, if you don't know, debug.log is a good way to uh, have uh, variables printed out to the console window here, and it's very useful for uh, kind of finding out uh, how things are going on in your, uh, you know, what, what's going on. I just use it all the time to uh, help me find out any errors in my scripts and stuff. So uh, now when I press this, you're going to see the time of the animation, uh, the attack animation, be displayed by the console window. So I'll click that. I'll quickly stop that. Okay, so you can see the times. Every frame, uh, Unity prints out the current time of that attack animation. And as you can see, the uh, the times are are not in in even increment. Um, so it's just based on whenever the uh, you know the frame rate um, is going. So um, it's kind of difficult to say. Just for example, if you just said if time equals 0.5. Uh, you know, you might not get that exact uh, um, that exact number from the uh, 
scripting engine. So basically, just uh, if you want something to happen during a certain point of your animation, you can basically use a script along these lines. Um, as you can see from my uh, little demonstration, it worked out pretty pretty easy, pretty well. So uh, um, that is how to access the um, time of the animation and have certain events happen during certain times of the animation. So I hope that helps out.